are you strapped to your chair right now? Like tied up somehow that I did and I'm forcing you to watch these videos and then I make you go into the kitchen and prepare them and then I force them down your throat? Like I'm not really sure how I'm forcing everyone to become vegan. I can't force anyone to do anything. So um, I'm simply living my life and my truth and preparing amazing, awesome vegan recipes, whether you want to make them or not, there's nothing to do with me. You don't like what I'm doing? Bye bye. champagne in the face. Hey guys, welcome back to Woodland Bakery. How could this be my favorite cake when I just said Black Forest cake is my favorite cake? That's what I mean. I can't have favorites because I love it all. Hey guys, welcome back to Woodland Bakery blog, TV, test kitchen. We got to think of something new to open. Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Bakery. No time to chit chat. We've got a mega super duper project going on here today. Hey, it's me, Gretchen from Gretchen's Vegan Bakery, and today I have a really simple but delicious. Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. No, this is not another recipe. This is a sort of where the heck have I been video, a bit of an explanation of what has been going on for me. And this is what the heck has been going on. Um, it's just gonna be kind of fun because this video, I have a feeling is going to get pretty lengthy. So um, yeah, forgive me. I'm just gonna kind of scroll around in my computer as we talk about what's been going on. Um, but basically, if you are a follower of the non-vegan blog, the Gretchen'sBakery.com, not the Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com, um, you guys are probably even more wondering where the heck I've been and what's been going on. Um, because um, you haven't been able to access those recipes since mid-December. All right, so it's a new day. I was having so much trouble filming that video, the first clip that you just watched. So this is obviously a new day, a new video. I was saying how um, people really around mid-December were sort of confused because they couldn't access my recipes anymore on the non-vegan blog and um, that's really my whole reasoning for wanting to make this video it's not the whole reasoning the whole reasoning is to really explain to everybody like what's going on for me i haven't made a new video in a couple of months like before christmas i think it was and i don't really have any plans to do that in the near future so, you know, it's twofold. It's like just to let everybody know that like I do have a full-time job now and I've been pretty busy and I just really don't have any time to give to the videos anymore. Um, so I was inundated with emails and comments on all my social media platforms. And so that is really the second reason of why I wanted to make this video because I do want to clarify a lot of things. Maybe I'm thinking that a lot of people thought I went vegan like, I don't know, two months ago and then just decided to shut down the non-vegan blog immediately um, because of the way that a lot of these uh, comments and messages came in so like this one for example man Gretchen I grew up watching you since I was little and I learned so much from you when you were in Woodland Bakery and now I can't even view any of those old videos anymore I had even messaged you once saying how when I grew up, I was going to visit you at Woodland Bakery and buy a whole bunch of treats. I would often binge watch your videos a lot because I loved watching them. You're such an inspiration, but I'm really disappointed that I can't view or see any of the old content anymore. I understand that you're vegan, but not all of your viewers are. And I just wish you would have left all that content up. So here's the thing. What most people are assuming is that I went vegan and I said, screw you all you non-vegans, I'm shutting down the blog, which is really not the case because I've been vegan for almost five years now. And if that was the case, I would have shut the vegan, the non-vegan blog down five years ago, but I didn't, I left it open. And I am going to explain to you exactly 
why I recently did shut it down. And it doesn't have much to do with the fact that I went vegan. It has a lot to do with how much it was costing me every month to keep that giant database open. And you're going to be very surprised as to how much it really was costing. But I do just wanna to, uh, touch on one other comment which once this one came through, and you can see it because I did leave it up on my uh, YouTube channel, it's on the most recent, well actually the last recipe I did was for the cranberry cheesecake, and I think she copied and pasted it and put it on my Welcome to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery trailer, like the welcome video to explain like about my channel. So it's in two places, didn't delete them, I actually pinned them to the top so that they're easy to find, and uh, I'm gonna just read you uh, her message. And this is what really sparked me and kind of pissed me off, I'll be honest, um, because this one was really quite nasty. I mean, a lot of the emails coming through were a little bit pissy and sort of demanding and really disappointed and angry at me for not providing my recipes anymore. So, um, but this one really got me and was really the reason why I wanted to like sit down and make this video and go, you know what, I think a lot of people are really misinformed. So, um, this is from one of my YouTube viewers and she wrote, Gretchen, you totally abandoned your day ones, which is very unfair to the folks that supported you from day one and helped make your channel a success, uh, your channel and blog a success. You claim you feel like a hypocrite to keep sharing videos with dairy, but those dairy recipes are the very recipes that got the views, likes, and subscribers to monetize your channel. So I think um, I may have said I felt like a hypocrite in one of my vlogs like a couple years ago, um, because I did leave the non-vegan blog open and I was fully vegan in my personal life. So yeah, like let's talk about hypocritical. It's not because I shut down the non-vegan blog. It's because I had left it open for so long. So let's just get that clear from the get-go. So she goes on to say, you've taken a radical approach to force everyone to become vegan, which is not right. Like how, are you strapped to your chair right now? Like tied up somehow that I did and I'm forcing you to watch these videos and then I make you go into the kitchen and prepare them and then I force them down your throat? Like I'm not really sure how I'm forcing everyone to become vegan. I can't force anyone to do anything. So um, I'm simply living my life and my truth and preparing amazing, awesome vegan recipes, whether you want to make them or not, there's nothing to do with me. You don't like what I'm doing? Bye-bye. She goes on to say that you didn't have to completely delete all your non-vegan recipes. There are so many of your lifelong fans who have cross-linked your recipes in their blogs, created Pinterest boards, and now they find themselves stuck on the holidays whenever they go to their favorite recipes only to find out that they are gone. So she's telling me that I didn't have to delete my blog. Hmm. Well, let me explain to you when I get through this lengthy comment exactly why I did actually have to delete my non-vegan blog. Deleting the recipes will not change nor stop the problems that comes with factory farming. Not all of the dairy industry is bad. There are small, lo lo small local farms that care about their animals and the environment, blah, blah, blah. After many years of supporting you, I had to unsubscribe from your channel as I'm certain you've lost a lot of subs. Actually, I have steadily been gaining subs and um, there has not been any decline, which is interesting to me too, because I haven't really created any new content in a couple of months, but I mean, it just keeps on climbing. So, you know, the recipes that I do have up, they're timeless, they're awesome. They are raved and reviewed on all of social media. So you actually should try them before you um, speak. But again, this person is really confused as to why I deleted my blog again it goes back to a severe financial loss that I was incurring every month just to keep it open. And, um, you know, as far as it's not gonna stop or change the problems that come, um, I'm just one less person offering 
offering the recipes that are laden with animal derived ingredients so you know i'm not saying that i deleted my blog and all of a sudden factory farming is going to stop i mean that would be a miracle but um i'm less i'm one less person contributing to it and so i'm no longer a hypocrite in that aspect okay so as far as my subs she wouldn't be surprised if the numbers continue to drop well i mean that's actually hasn't been happening because i am over 100 i'm over 201,000 subscribers on youtube now um but i do expect that to drop because i'm really not putting up any content anymore and i think once people see this video you know it probably will drop and you know what it's totally fine like i mean it's the numbers don't really mean anything in that aspect you used oh you used us you used us i think she meant to build your following and money 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 as part of your exit strategy knowing fully well what you intended to do man i am manipulative and i have premeditated this for a really long time i am awful so it's one thing to no longer create and share new non-vegan recipe content, which is true. I haven't done that in almost five years, but it's another to delete all of your old recipes. You're not a good person for this. In fact, you're a fraud. Wow, I'm a fraud. I've used all of you guys all of these years by providing all of my free recipes and free support 24 seven on all social media, asking for nothing from anybody. Well, of course, from my patrons who are amazing and stepped up and wanted to see this channel continue. And that was, maybe I forced them to do that too. I went to all their houses and stuck them up and said, give me a dollar a month, right? Um, according to this person, that's probably what she thinks I did. But um, man, I really am a terrible person. I just gave it all up for free for almost a decade. Just invited people into my bakery and into my life and said, here's all of my resources. Here's all of my education, all of my career experience. And, and it's all free for everybody. Just ask away. It's pretty much what I did. But man, I'm a fraud. Meanwhile, all the animals around the world are still suffering and people are still consuming eggs, butter, and milk every day. That's true. You talk about how horrible it is to use animals to make money, but you used your fans to make money and then dropped them like nothing. Um, it's interesting. I wonder how much money she thinks that I have because... <laughs> I literally exhausted my entire savings account trying to keep this channel and blog going in an attempt, obviously, to make it a viable business so that I could make at least enough money to pay for the cost of everything and then have a little bit extra to like, I don't know, buy some socks once in a while. <coughs> I have lived very conservatively for the past five years since I sold my bakery. And I basically sunk all of that money, not only into a lawsuit, like if you guys know the drama around that after I sold the bakery, but um, basically sunk it all into really just working so hard to trying to build this up as a business. And it didn't work and that's okay. Um, I loved every minute of it, but apparently she thinks I'm a millionaire and I made all my money by using all of you guys, wow uh what else you say veganism is about being cruelty free but you are being cruel i guess i'm not vegan after all there is nothing wrong with promoting promoting a plant-based diet and educating people about factory farming but it's another thing to force people to become vegan this way is crazy and you are wrong how am I forcing anybody? You have full control over, there's a button on your, um, I don't know what you're watching from, but there's actually a button called um, stop and the video will stop playing. And then there's another button called unsubscribe. And then there's another button that you can actually ask YouTube to stop recommending me in your feed. So you never have to see me again. I think that would be the best option. So, um, yeah, I'm forcing people to become vegan because I'm making delicious cakes and cupcakes. And, uh, and so I'm just wrong. I, she's sure that I'll censor her comment and delete it like I have every other comment that calls you out for your hypocrisy. Nope, 
don't do it. I let it fly. If you guys are entitled to your opinion, I do not block off comments on my feed. You are all entitled to say whatever you want. Most of the time though, I just don't respond anymore because I don't really have the energy. I don't really feel that I have, look, everybody has an opinion, right? So anyway, she, um, says that I have a communistic approach to force people to adopt to a plant-based lifestyle. And I thought that was really interesting. And while, I mean, like, I know what communist means, but I was like, well, wait a minute, maybe I don't know what communist means because that doesn't make any sense. Like, how am I a communist? So the definition of communism, actually, I looked it up, is... Um, it's actually not the first definition. It's sort of like later on. It says that it's a theory that advocates the elimination of private property. So I suppose in a way she's right. Um, I did eliminate my private property. I certainly did. I didn't eliminate yours. So it's not like you were living inside my blog and I decided to just kick everybody out. Like, no, my recipes, my blog, my YouTube channel, I could do whatever I want with it like right so <laughs> to say that i'm a communist i don't know that i don't really agree with that maybe you can and, and sure i mean whatever you want to think about me um as far as the hypocrisy though you're absolutely right i have been a major hypocrite for five years by leaving that non-vegan blog open while I, in my personal life and through my transition business life here on YouTube and the blog, all vegan for five years almost. And I still left that non-vegan blog open. And that to me is the biggest hypocrisy that I have, have done. And, and I admit that. And I actually do feel really good that I shut down the blog finally. But the reason why I didn't do it five years ago was because I do have a certain level of respect and care and appreciation and gratitude towards so many of you guys who have followed me for so long. And um, yeah, did help to build my channel up, absolutely. Um, so that's why I did leave it open. It went against everything in me to leave that up because yes, all the while that those videos were up and being promoted and my recipes were being shared, yeah, all of that is promoting an industry that I absolutely do not stand for and wish that it would shut down eventually. Sorry, people who aren't vegan, but that's just, my, that's, that is my perfect world. So for five years, close to $400 a month just in the web hosting to keep it on the internet and the tech support that I needed to keep it running smoothly on the internet because like if you guys know anything about blogging and what it takes to have a blog of the size that Gretchen's Bakery was, oh my God, what a gigantic website database this was. I had to have a dedicated server and you know, that's money. And the tech support, I mean, if you know what tech support guys get per hour, it's a lot of money. It's close to a hundred bucks an hour. And so monthly, my cost to host this blog on the internet was close to $400. And that's even before, um, uh, the food cost like that's just to have the blog there free and available to you guys to access print ask me questions I mean and like let's talk about that. I have been 24 7 making myself available through Facebook Instagram before my Instagram got hacked here on YouTube I answer all the questions and if I don't it's because I missed it in the hundreds that I get every day my Gmail account, I get questions on um, my blog, like it's constant and it never ends. That's all been free. That's all been my free time. And so I know a lot of people are probably sitting there like, oh, boo hoo, like you chose that. You wanted this to be your job. You wanted to get paid from YouTube. And absolutely, yes, I did. I really did try to make this a viable business and it just didn't work. And 10 years later, after all the restarts and everything that I've been through, I'm really okay with it, honestly. Um, it's actually a bit of a relief. Um, so before I get into that whole thing, I do just want to uh, leave you with my general comment to most people. And, and I also do want to touch on the people who have been just so incredibly 
nice and and respectful in asking me for my recipes and um where's another one okay so here's a good example of um like a respectful one right somebody who probably doesn't really understand well nobody really understood why the blog got shut down most people just really thought i went vegan like a month ago and decided to screw all of you and so that's not the case so here's another one that is um nice and respectful hi gretchen i've been a long time follower of yours since before it was even gretchen's bakery i think it was woodland bakery anyway i respect your choice to become vegan However, there were several of your recipes that I lived by and feel a complete loss to see them gone. Although I will be trying some of your vegan recipes too. Thank you, I hope you do. I was wondering if there's any way that you'd be willing to share some of your old recipes. So to me, that is like such a, you know, she's respecting me and my choice and she's saying that she even watches the vegan recipes and might try them i mean you know if that's true or not like it's very nicely written message and i do appreciate that approach and so it's these people that i really felt like oh, you know i really do feel bad because i know that there's a void now and so many people did rely on my recipes and um what was i gonna say oh but Honestly, I didn't even keep any copies for myself, and that is the God's honest truth. Um, with this database shutdown, all of my recipes, my non-vegan recipes, were housed inside that database, and I really felt no need to keep them because I don't use them anymore, and I'm not going to use them anymore. Um, over the years, with all the moves that I've had, the computer crashes, the computer changes, hard drives being wrecked, like I personally lost um, a lot of my uh, pictures and videos and like I've lost a lot when it because I, I don't use the cloud. Oh God, I'm not like one of those people and I should have been for a really long time or else I wouldn't have lost all of those things. But um, as far as the recipes go, they were all housed in the database that was Gretchen's Bakery. And I didn't save any of that. I didn't back it up before I shut it down. Like I just shut it down because for me, it's they're, they're of no use. So I can't even share these recipes to these lovely people who are just being so respectful and inquiring if just one last time you can give me the recipes. I didn't save them. So um, yeah, let's quickly get into the reasoning. Well, I think I already did touch on that. I couldn't afford it, guys. I started asking for help via Patreon and PayPal, I wanna say back in 2015, which was about five years ago. And this was before I even transitioned to vegan. This was while I was still doing the non-vegan stuff. YouTube and Google AdSense changed so much around that time that creators on YouTube and bloggers in general our revenue was more than cut in half and so it just became really difficult as a creator who was trying to do this as a full-time gig to actually do this and so i started asking for help on patreon about five years ago a lot of really great people stepped up to help and people still are continuing to help even now which is amazing and just on that note like i can't in good conscience um still ask you ask you or expect you to or even want you to continue contributing so if you pull out your donation absolutely no explanation needed like i'm not creating content there's not much to support now that i only have the vegan blog open it's literally like 30 bucks a month compared to the close to 400 that i was paying now that's all also because i don't have the tech support guy i'm not paying him anymore so like we'll see how long the vegan bakery blog stays open because i don't have anybody helping me to clean that thing up so we'll see how long before that thing turns into chaos but for right now it's 30 bucks a month to host it on the internet like that's totally great compared to 400 like that was killing me and I just couldn't do it anymore. So that is the ultimate reason of why the blog shut down. I had a good run at this, 10 years on YouTube. I mean, come on, like I am very fortunate. A lot of people say like, how do you measure success, right? And the immediate answer, that most people would say is like money. If you have a ton of money, then you're successful, you've made it. And I disagree with that. I um, don't have a ton of money. I barely have any money, to be honest with you. 
And I feel so successful. Like, I really do. I, um, who else can say that, I mean, after I sold my bakery, I went on to be able to continue sharing recipes. I could film in my pajamas at midnight, right? And then share the recipe over the next couple of days and film the video and edit it and then put it out all over social media and talk about this recipe and share it and get excited about it. Like that's what I did for the last five years. Now don't get me wrong, I lived very conservatively to be able to do that because every single dime that I made went right back into buying more ingredients, you know, the hosting on the website, like all of it. But um, I, I didn't need anything else. I was so happy doing it all of these years and I'm so very lucky that I had this experience. And I have to say, um, I, I just, I'm thrilled to be able to pass the torch now to um, all of the amazing up and coming vegan bakers out there. Like, wow, what is happening in the vegan baking world right now is so freaking exciting. And I am thrilled to be a student now and no longer the teacher. I mean, these guys are surpassing anything that I could even imagine or dream to do. So um, I'm really excited to kind of step down and just watch how all of this unfolds and I still do bake from here and there but I don't fire up the lights cameras action and take a week to blog and film and edit a recipe like I just don't have the time for it anymore and um, so for me life is good um, so yeah I guess this is a bit of a farewell video I mean who knows maybe I'll get a wild hair up my butt at some point and film that strawberry layer cake that I worked on months ago and I promised that I would share um, but I'm not really sure how it's going to go. So I can't make any promises like I used to. What did I always say? I will continue to share my recipes and make videos for free for as long as I can afford to continue doing it. And so, um, that's kind of where we're at. We'll see what happens with this vegan blog, but you know, I do want to just really end this off to say to all of my patrons currently who are still supporting me, I mean, absolutely, like, withdraw and go support someone who is actually really doing something great um, because it's not me anymore. I mean, like I said, I'm going to leave the blog open for as long as I can continue to do so. So you do whatever you want to do, but I can't really feel great about you know, asking for more support when I'm not really doing much of anything. But um, I do want to thank all of my current patrons that I have right now, my PayPal pals, and all of the patrons and PayPal pals that I've had since I started asking for help five years ago. You guys really are the reason that this continued to keep going for as long as it did. So I think I've covered everything. Oh God, I look an absolute wreck. And I didn't really want to um, do my farewell video looking like this, but um, I hope you guys enjoy some of the um, old video footage that I found in an old hard drive that I came across. Like, thank God I found this. So that was fun. And um, just enjoy some of the old trip down memory memory lane i definitely know that i had fun watching this stuff and um just thanks you guys for a really fabulous fun ride and of course i'm still on facebook and you can hit me up on my email and questions on the blog and on youtube videos that are still remaining like i do still answer you and i do want to help anywhere that i can um so yeah I don't know, that's about it. So until next time, if there is a next time, happy vegan baking, guys. Bye for now. We got videos going on, we're prepping videos. It's Saturday, it's five o'clock, it's Crumb Boss time. Hey everybody, Crumb Boss here. Somebody's been sipping on a little eggnog. It's Crumb Bum. Look at it be. Oh, my fantastic plan that I have for us. <laughs> <laughs> Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Working our asses off. Key lime pie. Quite possibly my favorite pie. Hey, everybody. Crumb off. I had to have something to eat before we start. Black bottom banana cream pie. Hey, everybody. Crumb boss here. Fortune cookies. I'm going to show you a real cool recipe. It's quite simple. It only has a few ingredients in it. Okay, maybe it's not that simple. Jason's looking at his fortune. He found his fortune already.
look what this lady is saying about me. <laughs> like, I'm always just ripping stuff off of Pinterest and other people's ideas, and I make them fabulous with my own recipes, but I think I invented something. Where do you see this? <gasps> I just said Woodland Bakery Block. Because <laughs> you're looking at me. You're looking at me and we do with whatever you want. At Gretchen's, I, I forgot the name of our blog. You got me so, oh my God. At Gretchen's Bakery, what is the name?